it was started with a vision. In 2015, Divco West purchased 43 acres of undeveloped, underutilized, former industrial land, intersecting the cities of Cambridge, Boston, and Somerville. It's very unusual for a project in the city to have 11 acres of open space and be connected to so much infrastructure so with that vision, we've created a new neighborhood, now named Cambridge Crossing. We have 2.1 million square feet of life science and tech space, 2.4 million square feet of residential, 100,000 square feet of retail. Um, we have the Green Line extension on one side and we have community college on the other side. And the open space connects with multi-use paths all the way to the Charles River and to the new Green Line extension, which is a community path that Green Line extension has constructed. There's about 11,000 linear feet of on-street and raised bike lanes throughout. So, so many pedestrian connections and bicycle connections. We've had the opportunity to work with all of these local jurisdictions and partner with them. We've partnered with people like governmental agencies like the MBTA, where we've actually brought the green line onto Cambridge Crossing. We've partnered with MassDOT, where we've made connections to the Gilmore Bridge, making it easier to access Cambridge Crossing. We were civil engineers and permitting, so we did the whole roadway infrastructure and any utility infrastructure necessary. So we worked closely with Cambridge DPW and MWRA. Part of the project was to offset our sewage generation by removing I&I &I in the city elsewhere. So we worked on that, and we also worked with Divco West closely on state and local permitting. The jurisdictions themselves have begun to work together forming intermunicipal agreements to make this a place where all three communities can live and work together. Another important fact that we're very proud of is partnering with local retailers who already are established in Cambridge and the surrounding communities. There are lines out the doors of our local restaurants with our local retailers there. And we talk about those 11 acres of open space. Divco West is really engaged in community groups where we partner for events that everyone can come and enjoy for free. And it's gonna make this green spine throughout the whole project from east to west. And everybody's using it already. We have dog parks and we have picnic groves and there's stormwater amenities in the green open space. So it's, yeah, it's great. We have a place that's visually interesting as well as fully functional. We have life science companies like Sanofi, Bristol Myers Squibb, Phillips Healthcare. Now they are our partners. So all of these mines now can come to this one place and continue to thrive. What I feel made this a great collaboration was the community working with the city of Cambridge. Cambridge really, and the residents really wanted to extend East Cambridge and take over this blighted site. So everybody was willing to work together to make it successful and integrate it into the city. Back in 2015, we actually started by reaching out and creating focus groups with architects and engineers and such to understand what types of buildings we needed to build to make people want to come to work at Cambridge Crossing. Our partnerships with those consultants and engineers and local authorities and community groups from the get-go are really what created a successful collaboration and what continues today. The public response, I think, has been pretty amazing. And Divco West has done events every summer. And it first started out with just a movie night. And then it turned into celebrations with food trucks and 
different Cambridge business residents coming in and serving the public. Just the activation and for once what was just open and vacant is now a true realized community and neighborhood where people are living and working and playing.